Young Thug Luxury Lifestyle Biography Net Worth Income Houses. Hello and welcome to Pro Luxury Exhibitions. If you're looking to get the juicy gist of your favorite celebrity's glitz and glam lifestyle, you've come to the right place. Today, we'll discuss another popular name in the music industry, Jeffrey Williams or Young Thug. Young Thug is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record executive. Before we dive into the deets of this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell button. If that's out of the way, let's get right into the video. Young Thug Biography and Discography Jeffrey Lamar Williams was born in Atlanta, Georgia on the 16th of August, 1991. He had 10 siblings, and he is the 10th child. He grew up in a rough neighborhood, the same neighborhood that produced artists like Waka Flocka Flame, Ludacris, and 2 Chains. Jeffrey was quite notorious as a child. He reportedly broke a teacher's arm in sixth grade and was sent to juvenile prison for four years. His music career started in 2010 after getting featured on True Royals' She Can Go. Between 2011 and 2012, he released three parts of his mixtape series, I Came From Nothing, and he caught the eye of Gucci Mane. Gucci signed Young Thug to his 1017 Brick Squad Records, his record label, in 2013. That same year, Young Thug, or Thugga, as he's also popularly called, dropped his fourth mixtape, his debut project with the label, and titled it 1017 Thug. Music critics gave positive reviews on the mixtape, which was a good sign for him. The mixtape was added to a couple of music lists that are usually released at the end of the year. Some of them were the 50 best albums of 2013 by Complex, the Albums of the Year, Honorable Mention by Pitchfork, the 5 Best Mixtapes of 2013 by The Guardian, and 10 Best Mixtapes of 2013 by Rolling Stone. His top song on the mixtape was Picacho. Thugga dropped his first official single, Stoner. This song got a lot of unofficial covers from artists like Jadakiss, Whale, and Jim Jones, but Young Thug was not having it, and he expressed his displeasure. His next single, Danny Glover, also received a couple of remixes from Nicki Minaj and others. Thugga featured on some songs off Metro Boomin's album, 19 and booming like some more. The rapper performed at Fool's Gold Day Off in Miami with other artists like Travis Scott, Trick Daddy, and Danny Brown. Young Thug announced that he had been given an offer to join Free Band's label, Future's record label. Also, in March 2014, there were speculations that Thugga had signed to Cash Money Records because of his relationship with the record label and CEO, Birdman. The label stated that the rumors were untrue. Later that month, 1017 Distributions Director of Urban Music, Ronald Rosario, shed more light on the situation. Young Thug was still signed to 1017 Brick Squad because it was a management deal he signed with cash money. Thug recorded several tracks for Kanye West, who appreciated his work. He also announced his upcoming mixtapes featuring Bloody J, Rich Homie Schwan, and Chief Keith. Carter Six, Young Thug's debut album, was also announced. It was a reference to Lil Wayne's Ta Carter albums. Some days later, Thugga revealed that he was collaborating with Metro Boomin on an album titled Metro Thuggin, which was set to be released in spring. In April 2014, he dropped a song, EU. The song title is EU, but the song wasn't, and it was on XXL's list of five best songs for the week. There was supposed to be a remix on his debut album with features from Drake and Lil Wayne, but we didn't get to see that happen. Young Thug signed with Lear Cohen's 300 Entertainment label in June 2014. In July, Thugga was featured on a single by Mass Appeal Records titled Old English off their Mass Appeal Volume 1 album. Apart from Young Thug, the single featured Freddie Gibbs and ASAP Ferg. In October 2014, Take Care was released, 
featuring Lil Wayne and Young Thug. Lil Wayne was not happy about Thug's reference to his Ta Carter 5 album by naming his album Carter 6, so Thugga changed the name to Barter 6. He also decided to make it a mixtape instead of an album. He then announced in April 2015 that the title of his debut album would be HYFUN35, translated to High Tunes. People weren't sure what record label Young Thug was under at this point, as he had connections with 1017 Records, Rich Gang, and 300 Entertainment. The rapper said that he manages himself. He continued to release his mixtapes. One major highlight of his music career was in 2017 when he was featured on Camila Cabello's hit song Havana. This was his first number one hit, as the song debuted at number one on the Billboard Top 100. Another number one moment was with Childish Gambino's This Is America. He was the man behind the background vocals and co-wrote the song. Young Thug dropped The London, featuring Travis Scott and J. Cole. He also announced his studio album again. He also changed the name from Gold Mouth Dog to So Much Fun. This was the final name, though. He dropped the album on his 28th birthday, August 16, 2019. It featured artists like J. Cole, Gunna, Lil Uzi Vert, Future, Lil Duke, Doughboy, Juice World, Travis Scott, Machine Gun Kelly, 21 Savage, Quavo, Lil Keed, Lil Baby, and Navi. It hit number one on the Billboard 200. In 2020, Young Thug collaborated with Chris Brown to release Slime and B, a joint mixtape. They dropped the mixtape on Chris Brown's 31st birthday, May 5, 2020. It features artists like Gunna, Major 9, Lil Duke, Future, Hoodie Baby, E-40, and Too Short. The mixtape's lead single was on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 3. Thugga was featured on Travis Scott's song, Franchise, alongside rapper M.I.A. This was his second single that hit number 1 as it was on the Billboard Hot 100. In 2021, Thug had a couple of projects and collaborations. First off, in April, Thug, YSL Records, and Gunna dropped her album Slime Language 2. In October, he dropped his second studio album, Punk. His latest collaboration was with Kelvin Harris and Dua Lipa on a song titled Potion. Young Thug has had a lot of legal issues over the years. He was arrested in February 2014 for reckless driving, driving without a seatbelt on, possession of drugs, and reckless conduct. In 2015, he was detained for possession of weapons and drugs. He was then charged with felony cocaine, marijuana, and drug possession. Before the arrest, Birdman and Young Thug were allegedly caught in a plan to kill Lil Wayne. His most recent arrest was in May 2022. He was charged alongside Gunna and 26 other people for participating in street activities and violating the Racketeer-Influenced and Corrupt Organized RICO Act. They were accused of involvement in a group, Young Slime Life, that participates in armed robbery, drug possession, and more, and Young Thug was accused of being their leader. The case is still on. The 30-year-old has received a couple of awards, including a Song of the Year award for Childish Gambino's This Is America at the Grammys, Collaboration of the Year, This Is America at the Grammys, Collaboration of the Year, Favorite Pop Rock Song, and Video of the Year for Camila Cabello and Thugga's Havana at the American Music Awards. He has received three BET Hip Hop Awards nominations and won BET Award nomination. Young Thug has six children, three sons and three daughters, born to four different moms. Currently, he is engaged to Jerrica Carly. Now that we know all about his personal life and career, let us go further to check out Young Thug's millionaire lifestyle, Young Thug's net worth, and his major sources of income. Thugga has an estimated net worth of $8 million. His primary source of income is his music album sales, sponsorship deals, 
tours, and online streaming. Apart from his music, he also has endorsement deals with companies like Kelvin Klein, Hooters, Avina Jewelers, Sprite, Fendi, Neff Headwear, Puma, Icebox Diamonds, and watches and more. He has made about $1.5 million from brand advertisements. Young Thug House Young Thug lives in a 7,000-square-foot mansion in Atlanta. He bought the property for $3 million. The seven-bedroom home has 16 bathrooms. Other amenities include a hot tub, indoor pool, wine cellar, inbuilt theater, a state-of-the-art kitchen, four-car garage, and others. It's a house that will be great for parties and hangouts. Young Thug Cars Thugga owns many expensive cars, including a white Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a Lamborghini Urus Orange, a Corvette C8 Convertible, and he's clearly a Mercedes fanboy because he has three Maybachs, a Mercedes Maybach S650 Convertible, a Mercedes Maybach GLS600, and a Mercedes Maybach S650. He also owns a unique jewelry collection that contains a Rolex worth $62,000. Young Thug is known for his eccentric style of music and his success in the music industry, despite criticism, is a source of inspiration to other artists to explore their uniqueness. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more exciting videos from us, please click on the like button and do well to subscribe to this channel. Also, please turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on our captivating luxury lifestyle videos. You could also check out other videos on our channel. Let us know the next celebrity you would like us to cover in the comment section below. We will see you in our next video. Bye!